look at the scenery here welcome to the history hunter welcome to our small adventures with the world war ii time frame what are we doing well we just have to go through here and uh, you'll see it that is one of the most beautiful beaches i have ever seen are you absolutely kidding me low tide and that is why we are here we are here because we're going to access a special location that you can only access when the low tide is here hello all you fantastic people out there just a very very quick quick thing um this you, you don't want to miss this this is going to be a mini series of two episodes this place here that's been on my dream list for many many years it's a german world war ii island and one word can sum it up absolutely stunning it is a island which is only accessible uh, during uh, low tide and the germans fortified it so insanely you, you won't believe it and there are some very very unique features there and we wanted to go there and you guys made it come true because this is part of the northern front road trip that all of you incredible people out there who watch and subscribe and help us out in any way shape or form you made it possible and we came back and we started to edit videos and there are some remarkable things coming your way um this is a bottle from a very very famous german world war ii battleship you're going to see we do under, underwater explorer and find that these are part of a massive massive find that eagle eyes my son did you will not believe how many artifacts we found at a very special location these are pieces from a ju88 and it goes on and on and on and it's thanks to you if you want to help us out to reach more people all you have to do is watch the video in full don't skip because the youtube algorithm is not in our favor if you do so and watch more of our videos and you will definitely enjoy that but now i will take you to one of our most beautiful and stunning locations that we ever ever visited and if not at least you're going to enjoy some absolutely totally out of this world scenery so let's go out and uh, share this little adventure together. That is a island. The Germans dug in there and we are here to find out what that is all about. The main problem is that we just have a few hours and then the high tide will come in. We are gonna cross right here and you can only access the island at low tide. Indeed. This is part of the Atlantic Wall, fortification line that Hitler ordered. Tens of thousands of structures. All with one purpose, put them together in a system and you really have a formidable fortress line covering the whole coastline. And this place is no exception. There were huge artillery guns here. There were barrack, bunkers, munition storages, all of that. There's a very nice uh, um, Leichstand, a, um, what is that called, Eli? I'm stuck. Leitstand. The, um, the uh, it's it's a command bunker, and this area here is where the barracks are. But we cannot show this because it's completely overgrown. So we have to go up to the top and maybe see it. It's from above and downwards because we don't want to go to one meters of nestles there. And uh, we'll see if we can get up there and then meet you on the top there. Just so you can appreciate our effort, all of these are stinging nestles. We have heavy duty. Uh, trousers so they're not in, kind of making us bleed but all of this why am I wearing these because I don't want to touch the nestles and the mosquitoes don't bite me I'm holding the camera for a longer time mosquitoes hate us. and they're getting us so right here is the area where the barracks were but it's so overgrown nobody does anything here and that is our expectation of this place and we wanted to show you a complete untouched area and fortification and a fortress that no one has shown you ever before and now suddenly we're coming up here you can see why are there huge piles of rock here everywhere i mean absolutely everywhere it looks like a moon lunar landscape with all of these rocks but believe me all of these they were dug out with a purpose because here they wanted to 
dig into the mountain and do all of that stuff. Uh, we're gonna go to the top there, Eagle Eyes, and then we're gonna continue from there, okay? Oh Lord, we managed to get up here. You can see what you have to cross later. But right there, down in that area where we left and went up, that is where the Germans hid their barracks. And you can see there's a lot of crushed rocks here, blasted rock. And now we can start to show you what this is all about, because way here on the top, that is where the first gun position is. And it doesn't look like much, but I will show you exactly why this place was so incredibly important. This is very rough build with a gun position. And I'm gonna come over here and you can see there's a munition storage there. And then you can see there's a tiny little munition storage there. But why? That is why. This is why the Germans put their guns up here. They needed to control the strait there. And every vessel that could come in and out here was a threat. And you know, Hitler, he was defeated once here. One of the earliest defeats that Hitler had further in here. After that, and the Germans took he it back, crazy, he went crazy it. and said, okay, there's gonna be a ton of fortifications around here because that's never gonna happen again. And we need to have control of the waterways there because of the huge investment of the iron ore transportation and system that was all the way over there. So this is why this place is right here. So even though you think this is just a little thing on an island, you have to see the full context. You have to see everything fitting together in a system. Everything has its own kind of role in the big play. And this has it own, its own role in the huge play. And everywhere around the terrain, you can see different features. You cannot see this. There's actually a trench inside these bushes. It was made with a purpose. There are some rocks piled up here that was put up here with a purpose. And you can see, um, is that huge piles with barbed wire that is laying there? It's something. Is it? We're gonna check that out because if that is it, that is a lot of barbed wire, but we'll go down there and just check it out. But you can see, this is why. And if you pay very well attention. Oh yeah, I can see something there. Yeah, can you see that? That's our first area of the island. Okay. And that is what we're gonna investigate right now. You know, this island here, this is one of my dream locations that I wanted to see for many, many years. On this journey, we have fulfilled several of Eagle Eyes's dream and even Bunker Buster Girl fulfilled one of her most incredible dreams of doing and she participated in doing that and I'm so happy. But this island, I just call it my island because I did a lot of research and I just suddenly found it and I said to myself, what on earth is this place? Could it really be that there's an island that you can only access at low tide and it has all of this World War II history just laying there? And the, I could see actually from Google Earth, I could see the piles of barbed wire fencing system because they had such a strange color even in the winter. And that is right there. And I, I don't know what to say because it is so rare that you can walk straight into a location and find out that the, the things that the Germans used are just laying around in bundles like that. Can you see that? That is the barbed wire fencing system. We're gonna go a bit over here and you can actually see pile after pile after pile. But not only that, you're gonna see the fence system itself just laying right there where it was left after the Second World War. And that is what makes such a location like this so special. And that is why it's worth to go here and spend the whole day, maybe wait for the low tide to come several hours later. That is why it's so important for us to go to locations like this because we can actually share this. Look at that, it's just laying there. That, that is the other type of the German World War II barbed wire, the thin stem type. 
and as Eli said, oh my Lord. If this is not perfect, I don't know what is. Holy Madonna. Wow, we're getting closer. Look at that thing there. What is that? I don't know. We are very curious, but I guess there could be a gun position on the top there. But there seems to be a couple of features further down, so we're going to check out those first, and then we'll climb the mountain and see what's there. It seems to be like a little battle station, a little fighting position. And it seems like they might have gone up there. And there's an opening there. Ah, oh, that's cool. And you can see, I think this fighting position was to put maybe a machine gun there and you could take out whoever tried to get in this area here from, from the sea line. Let's see where we are. All of this is filled with different features and I can't wait to share them all with you. So there is something going on there. Can you see that, Eagle Eyes? Yeah. It's like this square thing here. There's definitely something that was there. I think there was a barrack there. I wonder what that is. See, from above here, fighting uh, trench, things are well. Definitely see the square cut out for the, uh, for the uh, barrack. Trench going into that pile, looks like a fighting position there. Tons and tons and tough, tons of barbed wire laying everywhere. And uh, this side, there's nothing else to say. We just want to say, again, a massive thank you to all of you people out there supporting us to go to these incredible locations. And before we left, there was a lot of you people who helped us out on this super thanks feature here, which is your opportunity to help us out to get some gasoline into the fuel tank. And then we can go out and find and share these incredible, oh my good, positions here. And uh, a lot of you helped us out on the Super Thanks feature before we left on this journey. I had some issues with some lung problems and blah, blah, blah before I left, so I lost a lot of income. And you stepped in and you helped us out to fulfill the dream of doing the full trip here. And I said, I'll bring you, all of you who gave us something on the, pay, on the Super Thanks thing, I'll bring you with me. And I'm going to show you that on the top here. So we are coming to the top here where it seems like there is a feature. And holy moly, what a place we are at. It is unbelievably beautiful, but also so exciting to see what the Germans did here. Okay, okay, I get it. You know, right there, this one was here. I think it's a FLAC 38, an anti-aircraft gun position, and it was placed right here. And you can see again, these poles that they used for barbed wire fencing system, all of that. They might also have used them for camouflage canvas and stuff on the top here. But right there, that is where the first proof of the fortress is. That is the position of an anti-aircraft gun. Could also have been a Matson gun put on a, on a setup there. And even could have been a tripod for an MG, but we really do think there was a 20 millimeter FLAC 38 on the top there. I want to do something here. A lot of you who donated to the Super Thanks feature before we left, I said, I'll take you along to each and every one of these spectacular locations. And we have so far done it. I keep my promise, I for sure will. Right here, we are sitting at one of the most incredible locations that we have been to so far this trip. And I said, I will take you along, and I did. So I wanna say a huge thank you to each and every one of you that helped us to go to the Northern Front. Each and every one of you guys and girls on this list, you helped us to get here. And it was very tough in the uh, start of the trip because I didn't know if we can do the whole trip because I got some problems with my lungs. I'm recovering really good now. And I lost a lot of income the last week before we left. But a lot of you stepped in, helped us out to fill up the gas tank, do the budget, and boom, we are out here. And as I promised, a massive thank you from, from us for, for being in there for us. And it is so 
appreciated. Thank you everyone for your incredible support. Yeah, and Eagle Eyes, he has learned so much on this journey. And he just told me the other day, Daddy, I don't want to go home yet. And we're not. But he is so excited because he is learning things east, west, north, south. And now all of you, you are historical because you were here. And we thank you for your very kind support. And of course, also to all of you watching, subscribing, commenting, thank you for being here. If you donated something to the PayPal thing, or if you're a patron team member, thank you. Thank you so very much for being here with us because this is unbelievable moments. We will never forget it. And you guys and girls were the ones who enables us to do this. Look at this place here. I think there was a Tri triangular pod here with a hole there, a hole there, and a hole there, and that is where the uh, that is where the uh, actual base for the gun was. And you can see here there is a munition bunker on the side here. So this was one of the very important tasks of this position here. It was supposed to be able to attack by features that we're gonna see further up, but it was also supposed to protect itself. And this flat gun position is one of the ways they did that. They had this flat position here because they knew the allies would come here to attack different locations and try to attack the specific investment that the Germans had further in here. So it is a stunning place to put a uh, weapon system of this kind and of this size right there on this island. So well organized, well kind of designed. And sometimes you have to wonder, how did they know that they were going to put it right here? Well, we read stories about spies coming here many, many years before the war started. And they scouted the areas. They were disgu uh, disguised as, uh, you know, doctors or lawyers or families on, uh, on journeys. And, uh, you know, they could stay and visit and see places and nobody would bother them. So we have like a couple of small rooms here. This is original wood. That is crazy. Then there's some kind of little slot here you can look out from. There's another slot here, maybe a fighting position. All of this wood here is original. It's been here always since the Second World, World War. And that is impressive. We're gonna walk over there to see if we can see that trench system. And then we're gonna walk over here into the forest on the high end there, and then work ourselves way all the way to the top where the absolutely top-notch stuff is. Yes, Eagle Eye says, there's a lot of trenches here. See here, we think there could have been a machine gun position here. And you see trenches everywhere leading down there. And then you can see, I know why. They want to protect themselves from this you know, this area here, this is like the outer perimeter of the eastern part of this place. And there are tons of barbed wire everywhere here along the ridge and in the field there. But you can see definitely so, so much trenches here. And I did notice something really cool here. I want you to see this. This is almost like picture perfect sand. Look at that. And there is a, some huge steps right into that hole there. Maybe a fox or something living in there. But you can see every now and then in the trench line, you can see some concrete right there. And this transported Hansen, Friedrich and Wilhelm back and forth in the trench, grabbing some munition in these small pockets here, then rigging up the MD and then do, 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 do. So they were absolutely ready. Then there's a foundation there and you can see the zigzagging of the trench all the way down there. I can see piles of barbed wire everywhere. Amazing place. What a untouched gem of a World War II location. There used to be a large minefield here, which was kind of further over here. And there was an inner fence with the barbed wire and an outer fence of barbed wire. And then they had mines. After the war, they cleared the mines. There was one incident with a German who was severely injured because the German soldiers had to clean up the mines themselves. Pretty neat way to do it. <laughs> so here, more barbed wire just laying here. Look at that. 
huge piles everywhere. There's another one, there's a foundation, and then uh, you continue up here. You can see more barbed wire, and it just goes on and on forever up the hillsides here. So very well thought through, very well prepared, and they really knew exactly where they wanted the battle station, the trenches, the positions of the guns and all of that. And when you come here, you can see even more trench system. This little thing here, see that? It's a tiny little shelter, have some steel construction over it. And that just tells you again how important this defensive system for the outer perimeter is. So they are actually here fortifying the whole hillside as well. And they also were on the top with the flak position. And I can promise you, we'll, we will find more as we venture further up the hill here. Eagle Eyes always pays attention to nature. And he found this beautiful feather that is so nice, so soft. And this little shell here. I think the uh, seagulls bring it up here, dropping it into the hard rock and then eating it and leaving it here. Wow, nice. Definitely something here. There's a square. Is that a bunker, Eagle Eyes? This is so exciting. Or is this a water reservoir? On the top here, perhaps. What is going on here? Well, this is a water reservoir, Eagle Eyes. Or is it a filled bunker? Let me see here. I think it's a flooded bunker, or oh, what is it? There's a huge trench leading down there. There's no openings here. A trench leading down into the terrain there. That is really strange. But do you, can you enter here? No, you can't. That is strange. Let me see from the other side here. Let me see here. I can see some wood pieces in here. Let me do this. I think it's a water reservoir. Yeah, it's a, it's a water tank. Somehow they probably pumped it up here from mainland, stored it in this tank, and then disp distributed by pressure, kind of transporting the water down to the lower parts. And uh, the trench that you see on the back side there could be uh, water supply to the trench we saw at the coastline and then there will be pipes going down so pumping the water up here is pretty smart and then let gravity do its job to kind of send the water down down and I do think that is down towards the uh, other barrack on the front side that we first saw cool pretty nice invention actually it's not just about being out finding history it's also about us being comrades me and Eagle Eyes we share some great moments out here and we share some great food sometimes. So we have some buns, we have some iced tea. And it's just going to be a little moment for us here to kind of just relax for a few minutes. And then we're going to continue. Everywhere there are tiny battle stations. We do think that is one. And now we're going to head on up the hill here. And who knows what we can find over there. Oh yes. Part two will be found here and, uh, on the, in the video description where it says more. Just click that link and you can enjoy the absolutely stunning part two. Also, the super thanks feature here, that is one of the reasons for us to go out. It's the opportunity to help us out to get some gasoline into the fuel tank, as I said, and find and share amazing history with you. Part two will be absolutely incredible. We're going to see the uh, artillery positions, some underground things, some... Um, uh, fine control bunker, a lot of features there. These are barbed wire fence pieces that we uh, have from this location. And we're gonna put them into shadow boxes like this. And we're gonna share them and give them away to our great supporters. This Northern Front road trip was absolutely one of our greatest explorers. And you're gonna enjoy so much all of the details that we find there among some of the most incredible underwater explorers that we've done, some aircraft um, sites, and it's just everywhere. It's just everywhere, and that is thanks to you. So we thank you, each and every one of you, for subscribing, commenting, 
hitting the uh, bell notification, all of that, it helps us out to reach more people. As I said, yadi yadi yadi, watch the videos in full and you're definitely helping us out. I'm gonna edit part two now and uh, I think you're gonna enjoy that. In the meantime, stay safe, keep smiling and we'll see you out there in the next one.